Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. Today we're talking about embossing for Tool Time Tuesday for the month of June. And specifically, we're going to be focusing on embossing folders. But I thought it would be fun if, I'm going to adjust the camera just a smidgen, if I would, could go through the kind of the evolution of embossing and just show what we used to have to do to emboss years and years ago before embossing folders were invented because they were not always a thing. So give me one second. I'm going to demonstrate what we used to have to do and then I'll show you uh, my embossing folders. This is also uh, the fact that we're focusing on it this month is a good impetus to make me go through my embossing folders, my embossing instruments and purge because I have it. I've not once gone through with the idea of I'm not using it. I need to get rid of it because I will never use it. <laughs> and I will show you some examples. I may not even do this correctly, but I've got out a piece of scrap cardstock. I have one of these metal embossing tools, things, whatever. And you could emboss or deboss. And I'm wondering if that's got a lot of glare. Maybe it'll be okay. So with your stylus, you could um, just trace with the stylus the design. And it would probably would be good to tape this down. I'm gonna to have to use the really thin stylus point to get in all of these grooves. Yeah, I definitely should have taped this down and I'm having to stay straight up and down so that it will actually make the design. And I'm not gonna be able to get all the way to the tip of that because, and then you just kind of fill in when it's larger than your tip. I'm telling you, when I get done, it's going to be amazing. And I'm being facetious. Because this is, I guess it could be calming. It's a little bit like coloring, maybe. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's turn it over. You know what? That did not make a good impression. That was not a good example. Anyway. As grueling as that was, that's what we used to have to do. <laughs> Maybe I need to do this side. What's going on here? That just was not a good example. Let's see if that shows up better. Uh, a little. But anyway, there we go. These are going away. So after we had just the plain metal, then Sizzix came out with these that you could actually put a piece of paper. So we're, we're still with the metal and then we have this plastic side and then you can put your paper in and do it in the old Sizzix uh, machines, you know, that you had to press down. So I have lots of those because it, this was the wave of the future. It was, you know, things were happening. It's going great. And then they came out with these types with the actual folders and this is pretty much where we still are we have graduated to these this type that you have to kind of wet your paper because it does such a deep impression and there's tons of techniques that you can use with them you can ink them to get color um, there's just so many designs and currently these days you can find the emboss and cut so it has a metal die inside of it at the same time so this is kind of the where we are currently 
and I have some small ones that if you have a smaller machine you can use these in but it's got the die and it embosses all at the same time so back back in the day when the folders first came out y'all remember QVC when they would have their their scrapbooking days or their craft days you could buy these sets and they would have a big folder so let's pretend like this is one of them they would have one of these big folders and then they would have these sets that would go with these little ones and I'm gonna be honest with you I have never in the history of owning these used these little ones I've thought about it but I've just not used them so when I'm telling you I know that there are some I've never used them and I won't use them this is Cuddlebug brand uh, these words I just will not use the words because I don't want embossed words on my projects I'm not a card maker I don't want this firework and so these words are going away somebody else can enjoy those I know I will never ever in a million years use them now this other ones these other ones I need to speak English these possibly you know there's still some I can still see ideas when I'm looking at these but these words are just no they are not going to be part of my life anymore I'm getting rid of those and the metal ones it's time for me to let them go because y'all saw how excruciating that was <laughs> I don't need that in my life it's time to let these go so we've talked about embossing folders we've talked about the evolution now it's time to get down to business and make a layout I will be right back and kind of uh, I've, I've got to get my thoughts together y'all know I'm not together I've got to get my thoughts together and I'll be right back I have my photos and they are I believe these are the last photos that I printed uh, of our trip to Indianapolis this was years and years and years ago uh, back when my husband and I were dating uh, because we lived so far apart we would just pick a city kind of in the middle and we would go to it and explore so one of the trips we went to Indianapolis and there's two photos of us and if you look at these photos they're very very different in color so you know we've got a lot of blue sky in this one we have blue from the fountain here and these are very neutral looking so I want to kind of do something that m makes this a little more cohesive in appearance I'm going to do a two-page spread and this is what I'm thinking about I'm thinking I'm using where to next by Vicki Booten and I believe what I want to do is cut maybe a third so cut this you know four inches on each side and use this to as kind of a frame on the two layouts and then I want to use this and these as my background and to make it more cohesive I'm going to put it I'm going to frame it with this black cardstock I'm not going to make you watch me do all of that because you know how to do it I, I'm not I'm not doing anything groundbreaking or that's earth shattering we all know how to do this so I'm going to go off camera and get my bases created and then we'll come back because because we're here really to talk about embossing folders so here is the general idea of my layout and I want to take two photos to emboss their mat and I want to bring in a little more kind of grunge not really grunge uh, what's the word antique maybe <laughs> I wanted to have a little more of the old world feel to it so I in my fajala back here I have six by eight pads that I just they are for general purpose now because I've used so much of them that they're falling apart and this is from the I am uh, six by eight paper pad by simple stories 
they I, I have very little of it left and I have chosen to take these four pieces because I need two of them to be very similar to, to make my matting out of and these I think I'm going to fussy cut some of the butterflies out to put along my flowers I also have from Vicki Booten's Where To Next, I have these die cuts or these embellishments, this embellishment pack. I have these stickers and I have this papery pack. So I have a lot to play with. And I am going to do my embossing. Do you want to watch me do my embossing? Let me think about that. Um, because, I, the reason I'm asking you, because you really don't get a choice of this. <laughs> I'm just going to do it anyway. I wanted to show you what I have. Let me put this up here. I have not touched this in so long. It's ridiculous. I have the cuddle bug. I have the old cuddle bug. When I bought this one, look at this. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that so cute? This was sold on HSN, Home Shopping Network. And I thought it was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen in my life. I just loved it. I had to have it. And my husband at that time was not in the mood for that kind of stuff. And then, I can't remember how I finagled. But I did something to get this. I'm not getting rid of it. I have to keep this forever <laughs> because I love that. Okay. My all time, I'm going to have to close this up and so that I can move this around because it, when you put the doors down, it locks. So my all time favorite uh, embossing folder is the Swiss dot. It is my absolute all time favorite. I love it. And I'm debating about whether I want to use that or something that has a little more texture. I think I'm going to use the I'm going to use this because I, I love it. I love this so much. Anyway, so where I'm going to create my photo mats out of here and I'll be right back. Are you able to see the the detail the embossing on it? You can see it a little better on this side. But there we go. That's going to be a mat. I'm going to do my other one and I'll be ready to put my layout together. This is not my idea. I am a professional copycat, but I wanted to, just in case there's someone out there who watches this that also needs this tip. When you're doing a two page layout to keep everything in its place while you're working, you can put a little bit of washi on the seam and that way everything stays lined up like I said that was not my idea I got that from somebody else I am not very frequently blessed with original ideas I am great copycatter though okay so I think I want the photos back like this and we're going I want this one because it has Sean in it I want that one to be matted and the one with us without our sunglasses I want that one to be matted so this is what this is where we're going and you know what it's a shame because you really can't see the embossing that was done you, you just can't see it because it's hidden by the photos I'm not committed to using this zip strip or branding strip but I kind of like it I kind of like it. So, let me think about that. I think I'm going to use it. Yep, I'm going to use it. Okay, let me start putting my layout together. And when I come back, we're going to have a completed layout. Okay, friends, we have completed this layout. I, on purpose, wanted this ledger paper on the right side so that I could do a little bit of journaling here not a lot because I have two other layouts that talk about this trip to Indianapolis and I just want to just add a little few just a few details here there was a piece of ephem 
no, it's chipboard. I wanted to use this bicycle because we were riding bikes around the city and I didn't really have a place to put it. So, a few things to talk about. These on this side, on the left-hand side, these are two different word bits. And I took my X-Acto knife and sliced it here in the banner so that that G would kind of slip in behind it. And then I just layered up my title area. So sightseeing, escape the ordinary. There was nothing ordinary about uh, our dating life. <laughs> so <laughs> we definitely escaped the ordinary. And down here on the bottom, my cluster includes this photo. I, I let it span across it so that it, to me, it just flowed better. You know, it's all subjective. It's, we all have a different take on our, our design concepts. I did do use an embossing folder. Just unfor I mean, I can feel it, but just unfortunately, you can't really see it. Uh, but I did it. I embossed. And I was tickled to get out my cuddle bug. I'm happy about that. I love these challenges that Jeannie comes up with. Uh, uh, her channel is Jeannie Linguini. Of course, she'll be linked below, as will all the rest of the participants. But, you know, when she first comes out with a list, my initial gut reaction is, oh, I'm going to have to to use these things. <laughs> But then, it you know, I start thinking, I want to use these things. I want challenges that help me to use the stuff that I've bought. And I could ramble on and about this, and I'm not going to. I'm very, very thankful to be part of this challenge. It helps me get in to my room and use things that have just laid dormant for a very, very long time. So that is all for June. We're going to wrap this up and say goodbye. Of course, we're going to chat again soon. Bye-bye.